Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your September 2018 reading. Um, we're going to use the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit deck for this reading. Um, so this is just your path that you're walking this month and the obstacle that you'll be facing as well. Um, do keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. Um, and you can check the description box below. Um, the link to my shop is down there if, if you would like a personal reading. Um, I am having a little mini sale at the moment. Um, anyway, so let's get started. Um, I want to jump right into this. I don't want to make this video super, super long. Um, so this is the bottom of the deck energy right here, uh, the beaver. Um, and the beaver is water energy, um, but the beaver also signifies earth energy to me as well. Um, the beaver does live on land and um, on water as well um, but the beaver is a hard worker and um, he puts his family first um, he's very loyal um, so you guys could be feeling that way this month um, you could be working really hard on um, focusing on your family um, you guys are you know just feeling very um, good-natured um, you're very dependable this month um, you just have a lot of love for your family I feel this month um, a lot of enthusiasm and you might be expressing this um, in like an earth energy type of way um, you know like financially um, material speaking um, and beavers don't usually like start projects or like initiate things but once they do um, they'll work on it for weeks or months or years so maybe um, Sagittarius you guys have been working on something for a long time um, you've been very loyal to, to something or someone now, mind you, this doesn't have to, you know, be about a relationship. This could be any, um, any situation, any aspect of your life. Whatever you're thinking about at this current moment is what this, this reading is, um, you know, applying to. Um, yeah, but whatever this is, um, you're, you're really working on this, um, this is for the long term. Whatever um, you're like tirelessly working on, um, you see long term potential in it. It's for the long term. Maybe um, you're putting in a lot of hours at work for your family. So you guys could um, have the, um, the standard of living the life that, um, that you want. Um, yoga could definitely be of some benefit to you this month, Sagittarius. Um, some of you guys could be feeling, um, worn out even for some of you, maybe a small percentage, you might be feeling useless, but really, um, maybe some of you guys are feeling, uh, worn out. Um, so definitely yoga, um, you know, will definitely help, um, strength uh, or, um, will definitely strengthen you. Um, it'll stretch you out, um, keep you feeling calm and grounded. So, um, yeah, that's, that's the beaver energy for you. So, um, let's move on to your path for the month. And the path that you got here is the swan, which is uh, water energy. And, you know, water is signifying um, of emotions. Um, but the swan definitely has an elegant type of power to it. Um, the swan's very creative, um, very mystical. Um, so you guys could be feeling, you know, um, pretty creative this month definitely um so make sure you're doing things this month um that will spark your creativity um that will um make you use your creativity 
or maybe um, you guys are working on something creative. Um, you have been working for um, a long time on something creative, whether this is weeks, months, or years. This could be writing, self-reflection maybe. You guys are creating something this month. The swan is also um, a healing energy as well. So I feel some, some type of healing might be coming in for you, Sagittarius. Um, but the swan, when the swan card um, comes out in a reading, um, this is signifying that your soul is calling out for attention and maybe um, the way that your soul is expressing this um, is through creativity, is through being creative, is through creating something. And um, it's also a need, um, there's also a need for um, time alone. Time alone so that you can work loyal, um, loyally and tirelessly on this creative endeavor that, that you're um, embarking on or maybe finishing or starting or you know, you're still working on in the month of September. Um, definitely your inner voice is um, calling out to be heard. You have some sort of inner vision that you want to reveal to the world and you're really working on it. You're really cultivating it this month, Sag. Some of you guys um, might be getting bouts of like being um, agitated or like snippy. Um, you know, like just, just being real snippy, real short with others. Um, sometimes you guys might, um, you know, might lack vision at time. I mean, just, you know, that is normal if, if you are working on something for a long time. So when you do find yourself getting in that type of energy, make sure um, you are taking time to yourself. You're taking time to reflect on yourself, on why you started this creative project in the first place. Um, writing can also be very therapeutic, just writing um, down your emotions and then you could just throw away um, what, what you've written afterwards. Um, you know, just sometimes writing down how you're feeling can help release um, any pent up frustration, agitation, um, you know, any negative emotions. Just know that you do have um, a very creative power this month. Um, so let's move on to your obstacle. And you guys got the lamb energy as your obstacle this month. Uh, yes, you guys, your obstacle is, um, patience. The lamb is a very patient energy. Um, so you guys might not be feeling very patient. You might really, whatever this creative endeavor is, um, you might be feeling impatient this, this month as well. Um, you're not feeling at peace about something. And the lamb also um, signifies um, the bearer, some like some sort of important message. So, um, maybe there's some sort of message that's not coming to you it's being blocked now this could now remember um i did talk about uh self-reflection and and look at this the swan is reflected here in this card this also signifies self-reflection so you guys are being um 
challenged with um, also going within with um, self-reflection and um, you know there are um, important messages for you that that your inner voice um, your your higher self has for you remember um, your soul is calling out for attention you your inner voice needs to be heard um, and I think um, this creative venture will help you or going you know within and self-reflection will help you um, but you're feeling very um, impatient maybe some of you guys just really don't want to be bothered with doing the work and 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 going within maybe um but these answers these messages can only be heard when um because remember your path is having um solo time but i um but i feel like this is going to come very easily to you because you guys are probably so immersed in whatever this creative project creative energy is um but these answers and this understanding can only come to you when you take the time out to be alone and to be quiet and listen go within or um, this could even be some uh, some some honest advice or um, guidance from a friend or an old friend a child maybe a stranger even um, because sometimes usually um, the lambs message does um, come through um, it does channel through another person um, so make sure you are um, listening I feel like um, another one of your obstacles this month is that you're not um, really listening so make sure you're listening really listening to those people around you because you never know when a message might come in for you guys and this message could spark some sort of inspiration or creativity for you guys as well so maybe you know maybe um for some of you if if you haven't even um started some sort of project or creative venture um maybe when you guys really do take the time to really listen um to others this month you'll get some sort of creative idea which will set off this 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 venture or 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 set off um, you going within and doing some sort of self-reflection um, yes and whatever this message is whatever you know you overhear or what someone tells you this this message will resonate within you um, and even if like you don't really understand or like really like catch on or like really hear it like the first time or um, you know like somebody might say something and it might stick in your mind but it might not really like mean anything to you at first but this message is going to just keep repeating itself in in your head until you finally listen until you finally get this message um, yeah, so just make sure you're really taking the time to listen, to have patience this month. You might be feeling, um, some of you might be feeling timid or concerned as well with, with the lamb energy here. Um, but like I said, listening will definitely help um, balance out the lamb energy and it will help you overcome the obstacle of the lamb energy. Meditation will as well. Meditation, you know, comes in many forms. You could do candle gazing, listening um, to music, just getting quiet, shutting your eyes. Uh, breathing techniques, whatever works or, you know, or calls to you. Meditation does not have to be done one strict certain way. Meditation, you know, could be going for a walk around the block. That, that could be your meditation. That could be what clears your mind, you know, whatever, you know, 
gets you quiet, gets you still, you know, whatever gets you clearing your mind so that you can um, get these answers and these messages um, that you need this month. Yeah, um, I really hope this made sense to you guys um, or that it resonated. So please do comment, like, share, subscribe if this did. Um, sorry if it's kind of short, but um, yeah, I feel like the message for you guys this month was pretty, um, it's pretty straight and to the point. Um, I did shuffle beforehand. I, I don't think I mes mentioned that in, in the beginning of the video. I have been having storage problems and issues uploading. Um, so I've been shuffling beforehand. But yeah, um, I hope to be back soon with another video for you guys. So um, until then, bye.